Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday at Namaste. Well, we've been through another deep dive week, taking some of these daily word lessons that are beautiful and yet finding a deeper pulse, finding the depth of the lessons rather than well, many of the lessons, as we know, many of the daily word messages are beautiful, but they are simple enough that a third grader would, would be able to appreciate and, and learn from them. And it's important for us to, to be able to access this from many levels. And what I've often said is that if there's an ocean a child can find beautiful shells and stones right there at the edge of the ocean without going very deep, but a saint can dive to the very, very depth and find treasures. And that's what we're here to do is to find these treasures, even in a lesson like this, which says, I unwind in peace and love. I unwind in peace and love. That's the daily word lesson for the day. So clearly just unwinding in peace and love, that's a beautiful beginning step. But we're going to learn how to unwind the, the mind, unwind the mind, uh, un, unwind the ego into the experience of wholeness. And we're going to begin this morning uh, with a bit of a mashup I've uh, taken that lesson and we're going to be singing it in uh, a couple of different ways. So let me go ahead and share the screen with all of you. You'll see what I mean. So, I unwind in peace and love. I think you'll recognize this first part and then we're gonna flow into our lesson. You can play the game, you can act out the part, but you know it wasn't written for you. But how can you stand there with your foolish pride, ashamed of playing the fool? One thing can lead to another, it doesn't take any sense. Oh, father and mother, and sister and brother, if it feels nice, don't think twice. I unwind in peace and love. I unwind in peace and love.
guess it's true what they say about that squeaky wheel. It's always getting the grease. I unwind in peace and love. I unwind in peace and love. I unwind in peace and love. In peace and love. I unwind in peace and love. I unwind. You can play the game, you can act out the part, but you know it wasn't written for you. I unwind in peace and love. When my day has not gone as I had hoped, I may have faced one challenge after another. Perhaps I was caught in snarled traffic, frustrated by a difficult class or flustered by a temperamental child. I may want nothing more than to untangle my thoughts and feelings and unwind. I get comfortable and begin to relax. With every breath I release the day, I imagine a favorite place, the woods, the stream, the beach, settling into this place. I imagine songbirds trickling water or the tides ebb and flow. I feel at one with the rhythm of this place as all else falls away. I unwind even more as I recall those moments of the day when I gave or received a blessing, a kind word, a smile, a helping hand, a sincere compliment. These sweet memories restore balance and bring me and bring peace to the world, to my world. And from the book of Psalms, but I have calmed and quieted my soul. So let's sing this a few more times. I unwind in peace and love. I unwind in peace and love. I unwind in peace and love. In peace and love. Listen to the first line once again of that beautiful James Taylor song. 
this is our jumping off point. You can play the game. You can act out the part. But you know it wasn't written for you. I've always loved that song, but it's only been recently that I really listened to it. I've been rehearsing for this James Taylor show that I'm going to be doing. And when I began learning this song, Shower the People, that first line really jumped out at me. You can play the game, you can act out the part, but you know it wasn't written for you. I unwind in peace and love. I am unwinding all of the strange ideas that I have accumulated over the course of probably many lifetimes, trying to determine who I am as opposed to allowing that to be determined by love or by God. Once again, taking lifetime after lifetime to determine who I want to be, who I claim to be, the costume I intend to wear, the role that I think I need to play, as opposed to allowing that to be determined by love or by God. I'm unwinding that. It's like a coil that has been wound tight, so tight that it's like a straitjacket. And I think that I'm bound to this identity. I think that this is who I am. This has determined my existence. I am this body, this personality, all of these ideas of the past, all of whatever. But there's one thing that you are. There's only one thing. And that's love. You are the extension of the love and the loveliness of God. That's the truth. It's the only truth. And we claim that. We hold on to that. We let everything else unwind. All of those ideas, all of those perceptions, all of those identities unwind into that single experience, that single extension. So I, I can look at the daily word today and say, I unwind in peace and love. Isn't that lovely? And I can, when I've had a hard day and, and you know, the, the kids have been driving me crazy or work has been difficult, I can go home and I can imagine a nice stream and I can imagine birds chirping and I can unwind. That's beautiful. But is that really what this lesson is about? I mean, we're here to take it as deep as we can, right? We're not called to be those children playing on the seashore, picking up shells. We're called to be the, those who dive to the very deepest part of the ocean. The very deepest part of the ocean unwinds the identity that you have claimed. It's not go rest and, and unwind your ideas so you can relax into your identity. It's release the identity. All of those ideas that you've claimed of who you are, who you've been in the past, who you might be in the future, all of those things are meaningless. We're here and we join together every day in doing this just to allow all of those things to slowly unwind naturally, easily, even gently. Now, it can happen not so gently sometimes, too. Many of us have been through that where we'll go through a great trauma or a great difficulty and our identity gets unwound rather dramatically. That's one way. It's not my way that I'm choosing right now and I'm hoping it's not your way. Let's choose gentle lessons. Let's choose a gentle unwinding. That's one of the nice things about being here at Namaste Village is that it, it's a a way to come together in this gentle, beautiful environment and community and support one another in that unwinding into the truth of who we are. It doesn't have to be dramatic, though sometimes it is, and that's okay too. But we are here to unwind all of those 
silly ideas that we have wrapped around ourselves based once again upon what was and what we think will be. And just to relax, just to allow. That's why I thought that song, Shower the People You Love with Love. If we just did that, uh, the unwinding happens on its own. Shower the people you love with love and love everyone. So shower everyone with love. You can play the game, you can act out the part, but you know it wasn't written for you. There was another role that was written for you. The role of being the holy, perfect child of God. No matter what. No matter what has ever happened to you or what situation you might find yourself in now, you are the holy, perfect child of God, complete and healed and whole, shining in the reflection of God's love. In you is creation sanctified and guaranteed eternal life. In you is love perfected. In you is fear impossible and joy established without opposite. Who are you? You are the holy, the home of love itself thank you <laughs> you are what's the next part where the home of love, home of love. you are the heaven you are the heaven where love resides you are literally god's holy sinlessness itself for in your purity abides god's own Ooh, did you feel that beginning to unwind that's the, the, the power of that prayer, is claiming over and over the truth of who you are, not the illusion of who you are, not the identity or the costume. And when you do that, you just feel that natural, easy unwinding into grace, into love. So, Vicki and Teddy are not here today. They are with their kids uh, and grandchildren. So what I'm going to do, uh, first, I have an idea. Bethel, I'm going to call on you first. Why don't you come up and, and talk to us about what it means for you to unwind in grace and love. Isn't it fun to be totally unprepared and just have it sprung on you like that? <laughs> Come and sit up here for a minute. With friends like you, I don't need enemies. <laughs> <laughs> so you all didn't hear what I just said to James. <laughs> I said, with friends like you, I don't need enemies. <laughs> he just calls on me out of the blue. So out of the blue, well, I'm wearing blue today, so that should help. <laughs> um, I am the holy, perfect child of God. Yes, I am. Uh, those were the very last words that I said to my, my first husband, the father of my children. And he was on his deathbed in hospice. And I had Christine hold the phone up to his ear. And I said, you are the holy, perfect child of God, complete and healed and whole. And those, so those words mean a lot to me. And they do help me to unwind my mind, the mind that keeps wanting to slip into ego, the mind that keeps wanting to slip into, yeah, but I'm right and you're wrong. The mind that keeps wanting to say, how dare you do that to me? That mind is not the mind of God. The mind of God is always love. And it's always perfect love. And when I remember that, I can catch myself. Do I do it all the time? No. <laughs> Would I like to? Yes. <laughs> But that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here right now today is to learn that I am love and you all are love too. And no matter what the ego tries to tell me and fool me and convince me of, I know deep in my heart, I am love and I am that perfect child of God. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> Simple and to the point. I love that.
Thank you, Bethel. So let me look out here and I'm gonna maybe pick one other person. Let's see who has a little glow around them today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick someone that we don't always pick. Oh, you know, someone that who has been here to Namaste a number of times, who always has uh, great wisdom to share is Karen Barker. Karen, you don't have your camera on. You don't need to turn it on if you don't want, but I would love to hear if there's anything stirring within you from this lesson. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> I knew you were gonna pick me. I don't know, <laughs> there was this connection in my heart, but I am a holy, I am the holy perfect child of God. I was looking out of my beautiful window and knowing that I unwind in peace and love with every breath is my mantra. And I'm going to hold that in my heart today. It's been very chaotic for so many people. Um, I work as a therapist, so I'm, I'm helping people unwind in peace and love m many hours of my day. And what keeps me steady is that I am the holy, perfect child of God and saying, hello, God, to everyone that I meet and everyone that comes across my path. So that's really what's in my heart as you speak about this beautiful song, Shower, Shower the People You Love with Love is such a visceral image for me. So thank you. Um, anyway, that's what's in my heart. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I can, I can feel your heart glowing. <laughs> E.T. <laughs> yeah. Lots of love to you all. How about Alice? We're, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up with you today, Alice. You always have beautiful wisdom to share. What, what's in your heart today? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You're, you're a little bit garbled, but yes, try it one more time. I'm. There you go. Something's wrong with my. We can hear and see you fine. Mm. Me? No? Yeah, we can hear you. No, can't do, can't do it. Hard on, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's okay. We un we unwind you from your responsibility to speak. Let me see if there's anyone else. Linda Marshall, Linda and Chicote would love to hear what one of you guys has to share. You're, you're, you're muted, dear one. Um, good morning. And good morning to everyone there. Being here <laughs> helps us unwind each day. And for me, one of the greatest things is just relaxing in the awareness of my breath. That's what helps me unwind. And as I listen to your song and your singing today, I love to hear you sing your songs. But today, and each day you choose one, the music helps me unwind. So with Namaste, um, relaxing in the awareness of my breath in the meditations, um, those are the things that help me unwind these mornings, these days. How about you, Chakoti? Mine is just to surrender it all. And James, you're such an inspiration in helping me wade into that water and surrender completely. Mm. Mm, thank you. Love to you all. Mm, love to you as well. Thank you so much. Wow, well, 
this is a, a lesson we can take into our day. It just means relax. Really, ultimately, we're just being called to relax into the truth of who we are, the truth that we've always been, the truth that will always be true. Holy, perfect child of God, just relax into that. Unwind the mind and all of its beliefs, all of its concepts that seem to be contrary to that single, simple truth. I am the holy, perfect child of God. So thank you so much, all of you. What a beautiful way to end our week. We're going to do our prayers and just to hear in a moment. But I do want to say um, today is a very wonderful, special day for me because uh, I will be uh, at 345. For those of you who live here at Namaste, uh, I'll be um, taking a step that I was reflecting on last night. My whole throughout my whole life, from the time I was very young, I could feel this trajectory. Tra what's the word trajectory? I can never say that trajectory toward the example of St. Francis of Assisi. When I was 18, I left home to become a Franciscan, was there for a couple of years, and there have been many other opportunities and attempts throughout the past, throughout my life, to enter different Franciscan communities until I found this beautiful uh, community called the Community of Francis and Clare within the Anglican and the Episcopal Church. And so today I'm going to be receiving my habit and entering a, a two year long novitiate period. Uh, and so I'll ask that you all hold me in your prayers. The next time you see it, see me, I may look a little different, but it'll still be me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hold me in your prayers today as, as I as I receive my my habit. It's an investiture. It, it takes place at uh, well, 345 Central Time, so 445 Eastern Time. Okay.